One. Matthew Brooks has more. The Saints moved to Moorabbin from the Junction Oval in 1965 and their first match at the new ground attracted a crowd of 51,370, a record which still stands. Club captain then was Darrell Baldock, who, with triple Brownlow medalist Ian Stewart, spearheaded a grand final appearance in 1965 and the club's only premiership 12 months later. And I can remember Emu bobbing around the ground, picking up the glass and everything, the stones that was on the ground at the time. But, uh, you know, I suppose progress has got to be progress and obviously it's going to get the club out of the financial difficulties, then it obviously must be a good move. Another former captain, Trevor Barker, vividly remembers the local showers which used to hit Moorabbin on Friday nights, always before home matches. I remember sitting at home a Friday night in, the, in front of the fire and the phone would ring and on the other end it would say, grab the gum boots, it's on again, I have to come down here at Moorabbin and... Of course, uh, it would have been a nice photo seeing us holding those hoses. But... The most memorable single kick at the ground came from Jeff Ferring in 1981. What the goal! And there was Phil Carman's headbutt. Oh, did you see that one? The spiteful clash against Essendon in 1978. Oh, high and of course, Tony Lockett's 100th goal in 1987. Current captain Danny Frawley says the players want to finish this chapter in the club's history as it began against the Magpies 253 games ago, with a win tomorrow against the Lions. We've had some great memories at Moorabbin and uh, you know it will be a sad, sad occasion, but the only way to uh, make it a good occasion is to win and win well. Well, Jen, I think I can speak on behalf of all visiting players to Moorabbin that uh, say farewell and good riddance to those cold showers in the club rooms after the six-inch mud cakes you used to get on yourself in the cold middle. Cold showers. Well, that was being polite. They oh, were a trickle no. of water. <laughs> well, I think they'd appreciate those in Barcelona, though, with all that heat. Yes. And I just have to say good luck to all the Aussies tonight. It's going to be a very exciting evening.